You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by. I do appreciate it. When I say I appreciate it, I really appreciate it. I know you've got things to do. You've got school. You've got work. You've got things to do around the house. You've got people hanging out, maybe, and you got to find those few moments where you can watch my video. That means a lot to me that you would actually take your time, your personal time, to hang out. All right, enough said, but I just wanted to get that out there. It is time for a Happy Meal set. It's been a long time since I've done a Happy Meal set. Not as long as the last time, but let's just say in the past year. Uh, and I'm trying to clean up all the items that are to the left of my video booth. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, well, please go watch some more videos. Just go backwards in time, read some descriptions, and I explain it to you. Yes, I'm talking too much. You want to see the 2000 Furby set. Now, when I used to do Happy Meal toys, uh, I probably one of the channels that did the most Happy Meal toys with the actual bag and the uh, Happy Meal box that came out at the time. Anytime I would do a set, whether new or vintage, I always had the box or the bag, which very few channels did, if any. So I wanted to make sure, like if I had the set, I would find the bag and attach it with it. So I have the actual box. This is the one that came out in 2000 for this set. Now, there were a lot of boxes in the past that were very intense where you would cut out all sorts of different things and it would build things, it would add to the actual toys. This one is not that intense. So let's find the front. So this is the box you would have seen. It's a standard smaller size Happy Meal boxes. There were larger boxes. There were also the Happy Meal bags. And this is for the Lovable, clippable, soft toys. And that's what we're looking at today. And so there's three different Furbies. One is the green, light green green with the green hair. One is like a blue, light blue with the purple hair. And the other one is like this turquoise purple with blue hair. Now you turn to the right one panel over. It says, find the two identical Furbies on these clouds. Answer on bottom. So find the two identical Furbies. So everywhere there's a cloud, probably, there are Furbies. Which one is the identical? Ooh, I think I figured it out. Is it this one? This one is here and is also here. That's my guess. Okay, so that's one panel. And then it gives you the answers up here. A Furby Derby. I don't know what that is. That's the answer for something. But this is a punch out. It says right there. Punch out. So this has perforations around it, and you can take it out of the box. Now I'm going to leave it because I think it took me a while to find this box. Uh, and then this is the punch out this Furby and place it on the cloud around the corner. So another punch out, and it's a Furby. It looks like there's a little tab there. Oh, and usually when there was Happy Meal toys, there was always this toddler toy. And I've showed a bunch of those in a past video. Different kind of toy. Punch out this tag and clip it on too. So your Furby will know it belongs to you. Oh, I see. So this Furby with this little tag will clip onto this cloud once it's punched out. The Furby will sit in there and it'll look like a little cloud stand with the Furby on top of it. This one says, this panel, can you find these words hiding in the puzzle? Furby wiggle clip smartphone soft. Let's find at least one. For, let's find the word Furby. There's an F, not there. There's an F, not there. There's an F-U-R-B-Y. So a Furby is right there. So, and wiggle is right there. So you would take the time with a pencil to do that. Clip them, so these are clip-ons, on your glasses, on your clothes, on your shoes, near your toes, on your shirt, on your lunchbox, on the holes in your dress socks, on your fingers, on your hat, but please do not on your cat. Okay, another punch out on that one too. And then we're back to the beginning. There's all the answers. We found the word Furby and Wiggle. And there's the rest of them. Like I said, from 2000 McDonald's. So answers, the pink and black Furby match. Yes, that was that one. All right, so that is the box. Now, when I would do a Happy Meal toy, I would always make sure I had the complete set. And then that's what I have here. So let's go through them. There are 12 in this set. Now, there were other, other complete Furby sets one of them had 60, I'd have to go look, but there was a lot because they'd give you the Furby in multiple colors. Okay, so there's six. So let's do two rows and we know. There's number 12. I'm gonna take them all in the bags. Number one, those of you collectors are probably saying, what are you doing? 10, 11. Well, 
I'm gonna take them out of the bag. That's what I'm doing. There's two. Oh, and three. Ooh, I just hit my tripod. Sorry about that. Eight. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. So there's gotta be a twelve. Where is twelve? Eleven. Oh, that was twelve. Ten, eleven, twelve. I think there's duplicates in here. Toy four. Three, four. Okay, so that's the top row. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're missing toy seven. Okay, that's toy one. It's got a little scotch tape on it. It looks like a duplicate. It is. Okay, so toy one. I don't need to open the second one. Toy eight. And that's a duplicate. That's the cow. And then the last one I have is toy seven. The lamb. All right, there we go. Again, let's uh, move everything out of the way. Let's check out all of the Furby, starting with Toy 1. All right, this is Toy 1. Now, let's just get a reference here. Uh, and with the vintage retro sets, I've done at least 80 different sets for Happy Meal with the toys and the actual bagger boxes. And then I did probably from 2012 to 2018, every new Happy Meal toy set out that came out. And then I had earlier on done probably 50 different other miscellaneous Happy Meal toys. Because at one point, I would make a video for one toy. Yes, that was before, early on, like 2012. One toy, show it, and move on. All right, so I only say that because every Happy Meal toy that I've ever opened since the past, I always do this. I take a little cut in the back so that I don't destroy the bag. Okay, and then I can take out the item and then put it back in and retape it. All right, so let's see. What's this say? Flip over, flip over, okay. 2000 Tiger Electronics. Oh, I didn't think he did anything. Ooh, Teletubbies. I don't know if I've done that set. All right, so flip over. Oh, this is the little McDonald's payable $5,000 a year for five years to open tear along perforation. It was a little game card. Does he do anything? There is something in there. Oh, you're squeezing. Look. Squeeze. When you squeeze him, his ears. Yeah, okay, so this is a squeezing one. He's gray with pink ears, a blue front, blue eyes, and a little teal top with a yellow clip on. And when you squeeze his right and left side of his uh, of the Furby, his ears bend down. All right, that's cool. I didn't know these did stuff. This will be fun. And then he's got blue feet. That is Furby number one. Okay, so coming April 14th to McDonald's is the Teletubbies at participating McDonald's. I don't think I've done that set. Probably another hard to find set. So I will put those little things in there and we will stick number one up there. Number two. Oh, number one was called Elephant, sorry. Oh, there was the 25,000 scholarship. You could win. That was probably the little event. All right, Tiger Soft Toys. So this is the Tiger Furby number two. Okay, it's really easy to cut when your scissors cut. Another game card. Now this one, let's see what the instructions say. Again, it's a squeezer, so maybe they're all squeezers. Now this has tiger stripes, little brown feet, a white square front, brown eyes, and white and black ears. Then on his back, it's a like a, I don't know, his mane back there. This one just has a fluffy tail. The first one, this one just has a mane with no tail. Yeah. Ooh, you squeeze him, and look, his eyes and mouth open. He's like, woo, 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 woo. That's cool. You Furby fans can appreciate that. Okay, we're going to try to get them all to stand. That's my goal. There we go. There is number two, Furby. Number three. This one is... Tree frog. Now each of the bags are different colors. And I, they're all different colors. There isn't a duplicate. I'm looking at them now. The first bag is clear but with blue. And the second one was clear with pink. This one is clear with green. Got 
Ronald McDonald out of the corner holding a Happy Meal box. It says Furby, and it says Tree Frog. Soft toy. All right. This is exciting. I still have three boxes of displays I've never shown you. The full displays. Okay, so this one did not have the little tag inside for the contest. Has the Teletubbies, and again, it's supposed to play sounds. I doubt if it's going to work. Or squeak, we'll see. He's lime green and yellow and orange. No. Squeaky is not working. Oh, too bad. I feel it. There's like a little pressure plate in there. I've squeezed him. I think I've squeezed him enough. He's saying, stop squeezing me. Okay, so we get no sound out of that one. But still cute. That is Tree Frog. Okay, number four is... What is number four? The Owl. The Hoot Owl. <laughs> what do you think the Owl does? So you collectors out there, if you're grimacing at me opening these, I do apologize. But I want to check them out. If you found this at a garage sale and want to know what it's about, and you want to know that it was toy number four from the year 2000, well, this video will help you. Oh, this one, his eyes are supposed to light up. Do you think that's going to work? Oh, glow in the dark. Okay, we're going to have to test it. He's looking up at the sky, and he's baby blue and blue with a pink. Oh, wait, I hear some. This one. It's making noise. Listen. Oh, he's crying. My Furby is sad. Oh, poor little fella. That's going to drive me nuts now. All right, back to Owl. With a purple poof on the top and a blue, baby blue tail. And Owl is glow in the dark. Well, we're just going to have to test the glow in the dark out on Owl, aren't we? Okay, now this bag number five is gray, like a brownish gray. And this is Raccoon. This also doesn't have the $5,000 little token card in there to win. Okay, so this one, you put your finger, it says, it shows the sun, then a hair at the top. And you put your finger on the top? What? Oh, he's supposed to light up. Yep, he's not working either. Yeah, it looks like that's like push your finger down, then it's bright. And then, I don't know. It's very strange. There's not much in here. I don't feel anything, so it's got to be up at the top. Look at that. Now, what does that mean? You put your finger, it looks like it's in his hair, and then you lift up? So, up, down, down, up, I don't know. It's backwards, I think. He's gray with gray ears and black eyes. There we go. You learn about toy number five. Toy six is a different kind of blue, like a really deep purplish blue. This is Monkey. What do you think Monkey will do? I'm still concerned about this one. His sound, look, it's very sad. It's trying to tell me something. Oh, no game card in that one. And he's a uh, pull his tail and he shimmies across the tabletop. He's a shimmy shimmy. Coco Pop. Whee! <laughs> Look at that one. That is working good. Here, I'll let you hear it up here. You ready? Oh, now it stopped working. His tail is stuck out. Oh, come on. It's going to have to be like this now when I put him back in the bag. Maybe I... No. Oh, come on. 
No, it's stuck. Oh, that's too bad. Now he's got a floppy loose tail. No way to fix it. There's no way to take these apart like some toys I've done in the past. Okay, Toy 7. There's a nice bright purple on the front, and it's Lamb. And what does Lamb do? Lamb pinches. You pinch, and you pinch. Oh, his eyes look up. So you can see it in the picture. When he's not being pinched, his eyes look at you. When he's being pinched, his eyes look up. What do you think? And he's got a green keychain. I'll go over all the colors in each one after this. We'll put that in front of that. So we're going in rows. That's seven. Number eight is orange. And it's the cow. And the cow has a reddish clip on. Another squeezy. And he plays music. Oh, maybe we can get one that plays. Nope. Listen. He doesn't work either, but he's white with brown spots and he's got pinkish inner ear with a brown ear and fluffy white, fluffy white tail and poof on his head and a little brown feet. Number nine is the giraffe and it's green. The bag that is, the giraffe itself is poofful. Okay. That's really cool pattern. It almost looks like stained glass pattern with pinks on the inner part and then all the blues is the stained glass metal part. Got purple eyes. What does he do before we even try it? Okay, nothing. Let's see, look how crunched up this one is. Okay, you squeeze him and he lights up in his belly. He's not doing anything. It looks like there's some kind of light box here. Yeah, he doesn't work either. Well, would you expect a 23-year-old battery to hold up? No. Blue ears with white insides and nice purple eyes. Okay. It's sad they don't work, but, you know, what are we going to do? Number 10 is the fox. Okay, fox, what do you do with a light blue bag? And his instructions say, ooh, he looks like McDonald's colors with the red and yellow. And wait, I can't tell. It's like you lay him on his back and he flips. Oh, oh, he's got like a little spongy little little backside you lay him down no i don't know what he does it's like electric i don't know what this is is this a wall it's like they show him this way then put him down and i think he just pops and then flip over that's what it says flip over he works that's what he's supposed to do yeah, he flips over. Okay, he's got really, he's got white inner parts of his ears and red on the outside. And he's like McDonald's colors. And he flips. Two more. Number 11 is the dinosaur. It's like a tealish green bag on the outside. Okay. What do you think he does? I don't know. He's got a purple keychain. He's all green with the, and you could see the dinosaur scale pattern in this fabric. Okay. He's got some kind of peekaboo eye. Flip over, oh, the flip over on the other ones, the flip over to see the other side. Uh, He's still in there. Then usually you hold your two fingers over his eyes, and then his eyes change colors, maybe? All right, I'll hold on to that for a second. I'm still not 100% on number nine, the flipping one. Where's that 10? 
That was 10, the Fox, but I'm not getting this one. Hold two fingers over his eyes, and then it looks like they change colors. One, two, three. Okay, we'll come back to that because I want to just get to the last toy. That is the Diamondback Snake. Ooh, ooh, he's partially open in the front. Look at that. We'll just have to let it naturally open that way. Okay, what does the Diamondback Snake do? You squeeze him and he opens his mouth like a snake. And he's yellow with these little triangle, little brown, with a brown tail, brown poof, brown feet. And you squeeze him from the sides, and he opens his mouth. Hey there, what's going on? That kind of Furby. I still don't know what this green one does. Put your fingers over it. I'll tell you what, let me just get the black light out. Let's just see that one in the black light. Let's get the full effect, and then I will uh, talk about him a little bit more. All right, so the one with the glow-in-the-dark eyes is in front. It's almost like he's got uh, he's got these red eyeballs with this yellow around it. Almost like he's sickly. And there's just a tiny little strip of glow-in-the-dark eye. So let's see if this camera even picks it up. Turn off the black light. You can see it for a brief second. Did you see it? Let me set the camera. Maybe if I go a different setting. Let me move the exposure to manual. And let's see if I can turn it way up. No, nope, it won't let me. Makes no difference. So they glow. It's a tiny little strip, about a quarter of an inch, if that, eighth of an inch. You can barely see it. But it's there. Did you see it? For that brief second? I mean, he's charging under the black light. It's not, not that great. Okay, well, I think we did it. Let me come back to the light and we will wrap it up. Okay, let's get the box in there. I'm gonna say a pretty cool little collection. Now, back in 2000, everything probably worked perfectly, but now in 2023, it's a 23 year old set. Can you imagine? Uh, is, okay, so I told you I'd tell you the key, the little clip on is yellow, baby blue, purple, yellow, reddish, and then yellow. And then back over here is green, like that reddish again, green, black, purple, blue for the clip ons. And then the dinosaur, I'm guessing his eyes are supposed to shrink with heat. There's the big pupils, then you put your fingers, and there's the tiny pupils. So they're supposed to change size with heat. Now my hands are cold today. I couldn't get it to work. So I don't know, maybe it's just age, the time. Let me just quickly zoom in and show you a close up of the collection. Let's move this row away from that row so that they you can see the fronts better on all of them. So if you're trying to match one up, there you go. Is that better? How's that? Lots of pretty colors. Just very nicely done. They're fluffy. They're soft. They do different things. I've got to wonder if I wonder if I can fix the blue tail on that one that I pulled. And it is now no longer. This guy's out of place. This guy doesn't want to sit straight. Well, not going to happen. He wants to lean forward with his ears over his eyes. I'd still say a pretty cool set. What do you think? Let me know. If you enjoyed the video, let me know. Again, thanks for taking your time to watch this Furby video. As always, I do appreciate you watching. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up.